Driver Sean, and I'm back again with you know another pedal for <laughs> this one. This time comes from this heavy earth. This was a crazy limited run. Uh, the guys who talks about Holocaust gave Shay an idea, he ran with it, made a limited number. It's called an F80, it's based on a solid state amp. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I don't want to be wrong, so I'm not going to say anything. But uh, basically. This is, it's an amp in a box. I ran this 
through the orange pedal baby with the settings at 50 and everything else was this pedal nothing else it's <laughs> just this and my guitar that's it so i run the orange pedal baby the guitar i used was my signature series by deviant guitars it's called the winch pin uh, it's a six string version and it has it's armed with uh, my signature pickups by voodoo custom pickups called the tds rack um Yes, I know. I get messages about that pickup all the time. Please, guys, just give Rich a minute, all right? He's... <laughs> Stop driving that guy crazy. He, he, you guys got to irritate him to the point where I'm not going to be able to get my pickups from him anymore. He's going to fucking kill me or something. All right. So what we have here is a simple... It's got three knobs. So even cavemen can dial this fucker in, all right? But what's real deceptive about it is that level. My God. Yeah. Take a look, right, right there. Look at that, it's almost all the way off. <laughs> you get it any louder, that shit just fucking wails. It's ridiculous, it, and it's it's just nuts, all right? So, you have the cut, which is gonna mess with your high frequencies. It's basically, it is exactly what it's kind of, I mean, it's self-explanatory, right? So, um, See, I got a little note here to to get get back on it. Yeah, it just basically it adjusts your high frequencies. So if you got it turned all the way back, you're not pushing them. And as you turn it up, it kind of like does this teetering thing with the frequencies. It's actually quite intuitive. Very little movement on it will give you a whole lot of breathing room. So hence why I'm not going to do the whole zoom in on this thing look because this thing really is touchy. Like, you can get, Jesus, tones for days out of this thing. It's, it, little movements make huge differences. It, it really sucks he's doing this as, like, a limited run because none for nothing. One, the graphics are fucking dope as fuck. <laughs> yes, I do buy based on looks a lot of the times. And uh, big thank you to, Sh to Shay out there at uh, This Heavy Earth. That dude treats me awesome. Way better than I deserve because... I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm a fucking idiot with a hobby. And uh, he treats me very well. Super funny guy, too. I love talking to him. So, anyway, then we go over to the shape. The shape is kind of like... It's your, your... It's your tone. It's called a shape, but really, at the end of the day, it's a tone knob. So, when you get it all the way back, it's going to be a little flat, right? And as you bring it up, it's going to take those mids. It's going to push them forward. And as you know, in metal, it's kind of like a mid-forward, but you still want that thud. And you do not lose the thud. And if you lose the thud a little bit, all you got to do with that cut, just turn it back just a, man, just a little bit, and you'll gain that back. The gain, um, I didn't dime it out. I probably should have so I could tell you, but it is a lot. She's a gainiac, that's for sure. But you can't beat it, man. Uh, and inside, you can change the, the LED light uh, from being like super bright to like not so bright. And super light pedal, built well. Of course, you know, Shea does an awesome job. Which, by the way, seems like a lot of guys lately that build some of my favorite gear is named Shea. Is that a coincidence or divine nature type shit? You know? What the fuck? Just dawned on me. I know a lot of fucking Shays that are building amazing shit right now. If your name is Shay, you should build stuff because so far it's working out really well for the guy's name, Shay. <laughs> yes. And I will say, it is kind of funny because I didn't notice it until I just looked up now. So I try not to look at myself because, uh, well, you know, I'm not pretty. But I understand now what Shay means by that monomyth is a crown. It sits right on top of my head. That's fucking funny. <laughs> eh. Big time sorry to my boy at Republic, but that is my favorite amp. I love that fucking thing. It took a long time for me to say that other than the Republic. The Republic's still an amazing amp. I love that amp, but my favorite amp is that Monomyth. That was built for me. I don't care what anybody says. Like Everything I wanted in an amp other than an onboard noise gate is in that thing. I don't need nothing. I don't need pedals other than a noise gate. It's awesome. The fucking amp is just brilliant. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that amp. Which, by the way, This Heavy Earth is going to have some amps coming out based on their pedals. 
pretty excited about that. The flesh rot amp, it's going to be a solid state. I think it's going to be 20 watts or 50 or something like that. Yeah. I'll definitely get in one of those to try for sure. I have to because it'd just be cool to have that on board. And then you can use the other effects with it. I think it's going to operate a lot better than trying to do it in here. I was going to hook the, the Grim up to this, but I plugged it in and I hit it. And I was like, I'm just going to hit record. <laughs> you guys basically watched me try this for the first time other than just hitting that one open chord. I was like, shit, I'm just going to hit record. It's good to go. So yeah, that thing is awesome. Uh, if anybody's interested in me turning the knobs and all that shit, just leave it in the comments below. I'll do it. I don't have a problem doing it, but really at this point, does it need to happen? I mean, you, you can't fake what I did. I don't edit shit. I don't even... What the hell the fuck do you do it? <laughs> I don't want to know how to do it. I like the fact that I have my cab mic'd up. goes directly into the Zoom QN8. And it's just a pedal baby. It's just a clean source. That's it. And this, the F80. Which, by the way, there's none of these left. If you see one pop up on Reverb, and someone's charging ridiculous money for it, if you want to have it just to have it, fine. But I, there was so few of these, and I can't imagine any of the guys who got one going, I don't like this. Because it's really good. <laughs> Shay, I hate saying it, but you just, you should really make this part of your line. <laughs> oh, the only thing that make it better is just to have a little noise gate. I know I say that about every pedal that has gain, but she gets a little hissy, as you could tell from the video. She gets a little hissy, just a not a gate to like shut down the whole system, but just for what this produces. Just a little little gate, maybe even just a, a toggle that would just at least take it halfway down, would be great. <laughs> you know. It's, this is a little loud, which means if you hook a, a an overdrive pedal up to it. You know, now that I'm talking about that, is it going to squeal or not? I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Bonus round. Be right back, bitches. I'm going to hook the... <laughs> fuck it, I'm going to hook the grim up. Let's see if it squeals. <laughs> Yeah, the Grimm's hooked up. It's nasty. I'm not sure what it sounds like in the room. <laughs> I know people hate it, but man, it only sounds to me better in the room than it does when it's mic'd up. But this is just fucking filthy. <laughs>
it's crazy. There's no amp. It's two pedals running through the pedal, baby. That's stupid. Well, there's, there's a shit ton of noise. That's what that noise gate that I was talking about, you know, come in a little handy. If my uh, dead wheel wasn't dead, I'd hook that up because it's a boost that has gate built into it. If they could shut it down, damn, son. It's so good. Not to brag, because you can't fucking buy one at this point, but that pedal just... Man, that thing slaps harder than your mom's fat ass against my thighs. You know what I'm saying? I think it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Again, I just want to say a huge thank you to Shay for always making sure that he takes care of me. You know, and he he's a super kind guy, and he's fucking brilliant. And he has a real job. This is something he does is like a passion. You know, so it's kind of cool. Like, he builds them for a passion. I just want to try everything out just because I'm curious because it's kind of my hobby. I just want to plug stuff in and see what it does, you know. And so we both kind of have a hobby that's kind of in this big sea of, you know, fuckery and shenanigans. And he's one of the really good guys. I know I say that about a lot of people I deal with, but at the same time, I've been super lucky and I haven't dealt with many dickheads. <laughs> Maybe it's because I do it as a hobby, you know, and um not putting people in a position where, you know, they have to, I don't know, acclimate. <laughs> I have no idea. You know what also probably sounds like that? Put that mud killer on that thing. Probably sound fucking bitching too. I don't know. I might do a whole video of just throwing shit at this pedal and see what it does. That'd just be a good afternoon right there, man. It would be. But I gotta, like, get the fuck off here, man. This ended up being a lot longer than I want it to be because I was having fun. <laughs> Why can't I get some stuff where I'm not having fun? I can just plow through this shit quick. This is taking time, man. <laughs> Again, if you want to see a video where I shoot in on it and I turn knobs, just leave it in the comments below. If I get enough of a call for it, I'll uh, I'll do it. You know, I'm not against doing it. I just don't think with four knobs that are bluntly fucking simple that I really need to do anything. You hear that fucking obnoxious noise? That's because there's no noise gate built into that fucking hissy bitch. <laughs> that's the only thing that's missing, but most players have a noise gate. I just wanted to use, you know, this Heavy Earth product. So obviously, uh, the amp isn't out yet, but he has like just a clean little pedal amp coming. And uh, I got to get one of those for the gun too. And uh, then I can do his pedals without having to use like the orange or something, you know. So I, I'm trying to cover it up, but I mean, that orange sticks out like, you know, like a herpes sore from 50 miles away. So you obviously know what I'm using. So again, just to go over the gear, I know everybody, I can't believe some people still ask, and I mention it three or four times in a goddamn video. I'm using my signature guitar from Deviant Guitars. It is called the Lynchpin. And just so everybody knows, it has a black bevel. It doesn't, it's not just the purple. Yeah, it's not shaped as fucked up as everybody thinks it is. <laughs> My God, I'll admit, in the videos, it does look like it stops right here, but it doesn't. It stops over here. I don't know. It's a prototype. Maybe we'll change it in the future, but I really love this guitar. There's magic in it. I'm never getting rid of this fucking thing. I mean, if Royce wants it to, like, update something on it or whatever, it's going to break my heart. Cause it, I don't care if it's perfect or not because it's a prototype, but I love this guitar. If you can't tell, I use it all the time. I don't use it because I have to. <laughs> I can use any other guitar I want. God knows I got a fucking bevy of them, but I, uh, I love this guitar. Anyway, I, enough. So, again, this Heavy Earth, it's called the F80. If you can find one, congratulations, but they're sold out. Like, they were sold out before they were even made. They're done. It was really limited. I want to say it was limited to, like, 25, maybe? It was a really, really, really low number. But, yeah, that just gives you a point. Follow this heavy earth. Sign up for the newsletter. Because if you sign up for the newsletter days before it gets announced, like, through the socials, you get a heads up on pedals that are coming out. Sort of like, I don't want to mention other companies when I'm doing something for this heavy earth. But that's one thing that's good about KHDK. Everybody bitch like, they sold out before I got a chance to buy one. I just found out today. Have you ever bought one from them? No. Have you signed up for the newsletter? No. I knew a month ago this fucking pedal was coming. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> sign up for the newsletter. Get the head start. A couple days makes a difference, you know? So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Just that way. 
hissing's driving me fucking bananas. But yeah, I freaking love it. Home run, Shay. Home run. Congratulations. That thing is fucking nuts. <laughs> that needs to be in an amp. Amp form. Seriously. Matter of fact, you could take take the grim and that, put it all in one head and with a noise gate. <laughs> it wouldn't need anything else. All right. Very cool. I'm going to get out of here. I got shit to do. I, like, I literally have to go to work. All right. Later, folks. See ya. Hey, keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Check out this heavy earth and follow them on their socials. And hey, don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. And if any of this was entertaining or useful, YouTube ain't paying creators fucking nothing. There's a few that do all right. You know, they got a couple million subscribers, so like 150 people watch their shit. So they, you know, they get enough to add crackers to their soup. But really, at the end of the day, if you want to help out a creator or if you want to help a channel grow, you need to subscribe. And if you want to financially help a creator, there's a thank you button that's right there, right by the subscribe button. <laughs> leave a dollar. I always tell people that if 100 people watch it and 50 of them leave a dollar, if half of them leave one fucking dollar, that video just paid more than what YouTube will pay in a year. In one day. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. So yeah, if you want to help, do that. Only difference is, I have a really good job, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's trucking so it sucks, but I work for an awesome company, they pay me quite well. So, the money I get, and I think right now we almost have enough to buy a pedal, believe it or not, uh, from all the, what do you call them, the super tips or whatever the hell it is, super chats, from when I do my live stuff. I always, I'm in the chat when they premiere live, usually the videos. Uh, we'll have enough to buy a pedal. And yes, I'm going to buy a pedal from people who are kind to me. So yeah, you might see me buy a pedal that I already have sitting here. Or you might see a, me go to the builder like, hey, can I keep this pedal to give it away? And they will always, you know, they want to recoup their, at least their cost. And I can give that to you guys. So essentially you're entering a lottery. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool beans. Uh, Y'all can straight fuck off now. I'm out of here.